According to the latest update from the state health department, more than 31 percent of South Dakotans have received at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine. With the first doses going out in December, some people in the state have now been protected for several months. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, how life has changed since getting the vaccine. Hi, folks. You here for Dr. Arsha? Doctor? Yeah. At 87 years old, Don Gorder is a shining example of dedication. I'm on my 27th year of uh, volunteering for, for Sanford. Hi there. Opening door, greeting people, bringing them in. Don says for him, it's more than work, it's his calling. Just the fact that I'm able to help people, which I've been doing for 62 years. When he retired from his post as a pastor in Pierre nearly 30 years ago, Volunteering for Sanford became his new avenue to help. That is until the pandemic came along. I was wondering, do I keep working or don't I? Well, uh, my daughter kind of said, Dad, you can't be. He and his wife went a whole year without volunteering in person. Different, all right, because we have not been uh, inactive very long. But last month, his second dose of the vaccine came with new hope. Just sort of waiting the time that I could start back here. Allowing him to return to his passion. By all these folks here. Yeah. Wanted it and I wanted to move on. And knowing that uh, that you wouldn't gonna be, weren't gonna be moving on until you had that shot and so on. So it was very, very significant and, and uh, special. I was excited to get it, but I was more excited for like people like my grandparents to be able to get it. 23-year-old ICU nurse Tori Bork was part of the first group of South Dakotans to get a vaccine. It was protection for me and then going home, um, my little brother is still in high school, so he has to go to school and then if he were to get any of his friends sick and they would go see their grandparents. She started working in the ICU in May, just after the pandemic started. By September to December area, it seemed like it was almost strictly COVID. You didn't really think about anything else besides COVID. You didn't really see anything else besides that during those couple of months. Now she and her ICU co-workers are noticing the impact of the vaccine firsthand. I definitely feel more comfortable going and seeing like my grandparents and people like that. That was kind of your biggest fear is just taking it home or again like my nieces and nephews sick. But even though the vaccine is helping her feel more secure, it's a feeling she knows she can't give into just yet. Just because I'm vaccinated doesn't mean that I can't still get it and then transfer it to other people. That risk means her day-to-day -day life still looks a lot like it has throughout the pandemic. You feel more protected, but at the same time, it hasn't really changed my life a lot just because we're doing the same things as we always have been. Wash your hands, wear a mask, um, make sure that you wash all your PPE that you're wearing in and out of the patient's rooms. She doesn't uh, want us to go out and get, get groceries yet, so uh, she's been doing that. While Don is happy to be back at work, he's still taking plenty of precautions, too. We haven't been to a restaurant, for instance, for a long time. But coming to work. Hi, shot. And watching more people roll up their sleeves for the vaccine. Just kind of getting back to somewhat ordinary life. Where his welcoming, helpful greetings will no longer be hindered by a mask and social distancing. I always like to you know, shake hands and hug people and so on, and we haven't done much of that for a long time. And so uh, we'll get back to kind of some of that too. And do you know how to get to where you're going? You betcha. Okay. Thank you. Uh, many scientists are saying a 70% vaccination rate is needed to reach the herd immunity that's needed for the pandemic safety measures to safely fall away. Right now, the U.S. has vaccinated just over 19% of the population.